What's up, this is Philly77 coming up with a tutorial for the motorized faceplate for Iron Man. Uh, I recently joined the, the xrobots.co.uk forum and it's a pretty cool forum. And I decided to post up a tutorial on how I made my, my Iron Man motorized. There's many uh, like uh, ways of doing it. There's no tutorials out there how to do it. But, um, yeah, so basically, you know, there's people that use the push cord system. Uh, James from X-Robot solidified the top and used a servo on the top and a servo on the face mask. Other guys use the side hinges like that. Other people go through the rails. Uh, some guys use door hinges. So basically what I'm going to cover up right now is mostly material and what you'll be needing. Uh, I used micro servos, they're very small, and uh, the first ones I got were plastic. I got two of them and one of them stripped on me. So the second one I bought is full metal and that's what I suggest. But if you have a low budget and you're sure of your clearance zone, and that your face mask won't jam. You could get the high tech HS81. That's like $12.99. But if you want a real good job, and this I vouch for, is the HS82 full metal. That's what I've installed. My way of doing my face mask is my, my mask was pretty tight. See, as you can see, I, I don't got room. I don't got much room at all. And even if I try to, let's say, lift a bit my helmet, it jams, so I don't got a lot of space. All I got is about this. So I decided to make a little box the size of the micro and uh, get an L hinge. Now they're on there, but I'm just showing you what I did. I got these, I cut it, cut the tip off like that, and did an extra hole here, a bigger hole there, and two small holes here. I used this little thing that comes with uh, your servo, and I installed it there. There it is. See the two little holes and two screws that holds it back. Uh, also what I did at the end of the box was I drilled a hole to get exactly the same uh, height of the, how do you call it, of the servo. See, so right now the, it's, it's perfectly centered. Then what I did was I grabbed a couple of little L's and I attached them to the end of my uh, L hinge. And this is what gives me this, this motion like this. Like actually up and down, but like that also. Okay. So this servo is going to be lying up on top. It's going to be looking about like this, underneath the top plate. And when it's going to go up, all right. So uh, it, it works. I tested it already. I have a tutorial out on my, uh, on my channel. You can check out uh, tutorial part five of my face mask. But I just wanted to perfection it because uh, for Halloween I did it really quick. Uh, my daughter wanted me to like uh, go out and I didn't have the, the eyes installed and nothing like that. But uh, that's my system. I'm going to be doing the job much later on. And uh, right now it's just to cover up some, 
material was needed. So yeah. So and then what I did was I solidified these two L's together so I don't get no left and right movement with just a little uh, just a little piece of metal that I bend it on one side and then I, I bend it on the other side and to get a perfect thing at the beginning I put a screw in in the in my perfect holes and I, I got a straight line so that was basically my method of doing it and then once I'm all taped up uh, I mean uh, primed up again and everything I'll be uh, gluing everything back together and showing you uh, the motion actually that it does. Uh, you'll be needing some earth magnets. Uh, you'll be needing two micro servos. I suggest right away, right off the bat, getting HS 82s. Sorry about that. A push button. Little connectors. For, to make your suit much easier uh, for wiring just on off switches like that it's pretty it's pretty basic so when your wires go down you don't have to take out a whole part just to reach so you could just pop that out and and put it onto your circuit board okay you're gonna need some extra wiring I got a rivet tool with some rivets that was for my system like that uh, X robots actually James from X robots he uh, used the Picasso board and gave up uh, how he do how he did it and how he programmed it but uh, I won't lie I was pretty lazy <coughs> <coughs> so what I did was uh, I bought from Hyperdan labs a circuit board it's 69.99 plus shipping and handling it has two spots for visors, uh, two spots for servos, one is for the jaw and one is for the visor. It's got a pigtail uh, switch uh, connector. It's got a pigtail connector for your lead eyes. These are, the, these are the lead eyes that I got. These are white right now, but I put some uh, blue plastic onto them, and they're going to be like... Anyways, I'll show you guys later how I'll be doing them. Uh, so yeah, you need a circuit board and uh, micro servos. Uh, you're going to need two L hinges that you get at Canadian, uh, your Home Depot or Reno Depot, whatever, and they're like 29 cents each. But I got the fat ones. The next ones I recommend would be a bit thinner. Because now that I saw the length that I need, I'm gonna get like, they're, they're, they're about this big instead, and a bit thinner. But that's gonna be for my other face mask. This one I'm, I'm going as is, I'm just gonna complete it. <coughs> Servo is pretty cool. I mean, the circuit board is pretty cool. Right now I'm operating it on a little nine volt battery, but I'll be getting a 7.4 LiPo battery. It's gonna do the job just fine. Yeah, it's going to do the job just fine. So basically, uh, let's say your face mask is uh, down. That's the motion I get. My battery is dead. I mean, now it's dead. So imagine uh, if uh, the battery would be okay. If the battery just died on me. There you go. So that's that's it. That's that that's it for now. I hope this guy, this little video uh, helped a lot for uh, some of you guys. And uh, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll be coming up with other videos and also other tutorials on what I did to my uh, Iron Man suit. 
like I have uh, the hand repulsor that uh, with sound and uh, and the lights that work actually with the sound uh, and, and stuff like that so anyways uh, please comment rate and subscribe peace out for now and join also the xrobots.com ck uh, the, okay xrobots.co that UK, uh, please join his forum. It's pretty nice. It's awesome. So uh, join uh, as many as you can. Peace out.